What's up guys, it's Goliath again right here at Rogue Runners. Got the new mat, finally in. Custom made, you know, a little bit of a flex, but man, I love it. I'm so happy that it turned out pretty good. So we got today right here is a Roid deck, Ve a Vec Roid deck. So pretty fun. This is Cyrus's deck in Yu-Gi-Oh! GX, guys. Not exactly like his, of course, but you know, still like my my version of it, which I try to stay close to the much roids as I could, so I can keep it, you know, just like his, and just have the, all the support for it, so it can just be pretty good. So we're gonna start off right now. We got the main engine of the deck. The the plays I'm looking for right here is you got two gold gadgets. So gold gadget, even you special summon, you can special summon a level four or lower machine monster. So really nice, guys. Really nice. And then uh, if it's destroyed. By card effect or by battle, you can summon out Silver Gadget. So that's gonna be the main combo that we're gonna be I'm gonna be showing y'all. It's a two card combo, really good, extends your plays really well. So we're gonna see about that in a minute. Mixeroid, got two of these. This is my fusion right here, let you fusion from the bat from the banner zone. See all this right here has a 2200 defense, but we could switch that around with our main fields field spell. That's that. So we run three of him. Three Express Roids. When you summon this card, you can add two, up to two Roid monsters from your graveyard to your hand. Uh, one Rescue Roid, one Amber Lance Roid, just for the fusion. One Dark Hex Sealed, just for uh, you know another one that I can use for fusion. Two Cy Cyber Pharaohs. This is just for the for its effect fusion, and also two it lets you add a Power Bomb to your hand from the graveyard if you banish it when the fusion monster is destroyed. So great little card to go to. I think it's mostly using Cyber Dragon and stuff like that, but I had to bring it over here so with the other machine. Three Truckroids, so this is gonna be a fun play if I can pull this off. What I'm gonna be doing is just uh, switching my attack, my defense with my attack, and then hopefully equip my opponent's monsters. Run three up of that, the Starlight ones. Hoo, hoo, hoo. So after that, we got one Mind Control. Go for some Link Plays. Three machine duplications. A lot of my monsters are, I think about nine of them are level four, uh, 400 and lower, 500 and lower. So I guess we're good for that. We got the one terraforming. Three Megaroid City right here. You need this on the field right here to resolve some of the effects that I'm throwing. And then it's gonna be really quick into a combo. So we got Insta Fusion. We get it in our hand. You know, it's a, we turbo into our big boy and I'll show y'all him later on. Show y'all that play as well. One power bond, just one power bond. We don't really run into too much. One fusion ships two. We got one cosmic cyclone. One performer, former pal popper up. You know, just to draw power, discard three, draw three. Two limiter removals, just to get over some people. One regeki. Two supercharge. You know, this 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 card is great. Sometimes the people think it's a dead hand, but you draw two cards, you set a card. Sometimes you gotta hope that, you know, hope that you make it. That's one of those Joey moves, you know. Just hope and pray. Solemn Judgment, I had to put one of those in there. A Quaking Mirror Force and a regular Mirror Force, just to, for that back row. And a Merge, a Merge Roid card. Well, this card right here is like a Solemn, only if you have a Roid Fusion Monster on the field. So, so negate, it says right here, while you control a fu Roid Fusion Monster, negate the activa activation. When a card, Spell or Trap or Monster Effect is activated, then send all cards all with the same name as that card from activating a player's deck to the extra or extra and extra deck to the graveyard. You can banish this card this card from your graveyard, then target one royal monster in the graveyard, add it to your hand. You can only use the effect of emergency road once per turn. So I have another one of these in the grave in the side deck, guys. I'll show you all that right now. But first we're gonna get into the extra deck. Now guys, I really hope y'all follow the tournament. I really hope y'all are enjoying it. We just have a lot of stuff coming for y'all. We're trying to get, I think, up to I think we're gonna have about 16 decks in the tournament, so it's gonna be fun. So, and I do have another surprise little play mat coming, which is just for st specifically for me. This one right here is for the, you know, for the channel, so we can use it for right here, so we can have our logo and everything. You know, debating on selling these or not. Let me know if y'all would like some of these mats right here. You know, we ain't gonna be selling like Simply Unlucky, super high. I would love one of those mats, but I ain't paying that price. <laughs> 
So here you guys go, here you guys go right here. Barbaroid, the ultimate battle machine. So this is a 4,000 attack, 4,000 of, of defense. Cannot attack directly, let's think about it. This card can make a second attack during each battle phase. This card cannot attack your opponent directly. After damage cal calculation, if this card attacks an opponent's monster, negate the effects of all the monsters, including in the graveyard. If this card destroys a punch monster by battle, inflict 1,000 damage. So let's say like you hit it with Starving Venom, hit a Starving Venom, bam, you know, crash into that. Well, it doesn't matter because his effect's not gonna wipe your board. So that's a good thing about this card right here. So after that, we got Super Vecroid Stealth Union. The reason why I built this is because these look like gigantic, uh, the Power Rangers <laughs> roids. So once per turn, you can target one face of non-machine monster on the field. Equip that target to this card. While equipped with a monster by this effect, this card can attack all monsters your opponent controls once each. If this card attacks it, it attacks its original attack is halved. If this card attacks the defensive position monster, it flip piercing damage. So. So we got right here, Super Vecroid mobile base. You can target one face on monster your opponent controls, special summon one roid monster from the deck to the extra deck with the attack less than or equal to the monster. You can only use a Super Vecroid mobile base once per turn. Once per turn in the end phase, you can target one roid monster in your main monster zone and this card and return the monster control to hand. And if you do move this, card you control to the monster zone. So that's what that does right there. So what you do too with this remote, with, uh, with your field spell is that you activate field, your field spell. What your field spell does is that you can send a, a roid card from your graveyard, from your deck to your graveyard, and you switch the attack and the defense. So this would become a, a 5,000 attack. So it's so good, so funny, like, you know, not to be, we run two of those. We got one Parasycroid. You know, it's attack directly, pow, pow. You know, if I get it lucky. We got Steamroid, Gyroid, Steam Gyroid. Just a little, you know, fun thing to have right there. Ambulance Rescue Roid. And I'm gonna show you how that plays right now that I'm talking about. So I have a lot of Xyz in here. A lot of level fours that we can special summon that we continue to go on with. So I had a run of, so I got one Heavy Armroid Trained Arnulf just to attack your opponent directly with the big monster. One Baguska, just to stop the plays, you know, stall out for a little while. One Mistroke Symphony Dajin, just to t change the target face down, face down so I can, you know, do some stuff with it or something. We got Gogorn Anti-Malicent anti Knight. So this card right here, I have an idea with this. So what this card does is that you, if, the, if a card targets a, it says during the player's turn when another card or effect activated, it targets exactly one card on the field and no other cards, you can detach one XYZ material from this card, then target another card on the field that would be an appropriate target for that card effect. The card effect now targets the new target. So, see that? Castiel, the Skyscraper Musketeer. We got one Deco Talker, one Boroso Dragon. I don't think I'm gonna be able to go into those, but just in case I hit machine duplication and I have a couple more on the board, I'm gonna go for it. And we got one Ancient Gear Ballista just to pop some stuff as well, just to you know help it out. I'm gonna try to use that with the Carnagorgon, the anti Molus of Night. Let me see. And then on the side deck, we have Danger Mothman, just a little draw power. Two golden gadgets, just in case I don't see it in my opening hand, but I, I think I am gonna switch it in for the main deck. One Darks Hex Sealed. One Future Fusion, thinking about using this, we'll see. Polymerization. And then since we do have a lot of old school decks in here too, I'm the, I can decide when I wanna use that to see if you know, maybe they don't got Ash Blossom. Barrel from a different dimension. One Mystic Typhoon, Space Typhoon. Run Pro Pro Prohibition. So this card right here is great. So if I go against Cyber Dragons, whatever, I can activate this card. And what this card does right here, it makes it where you cannot use those cards. So if they have Cyber Dragon in their hand, they can't summon them. They can't use any kind of effects in the graveyard in the hand, nothing. So it's a it's a great card. One Necrofusion, one Back to the Front, one saw another Solemn Judgment, one Lost Ring, and one of those from Emerge Droids, just to get it started. So guys, I'm gonna show you a couple of them. The combos that I'm talking about, we have a two card combo in here that makes you a, that kind of pulls you out of the, the depths, of course. So this is like a, you can go first, go second, however you want it. I like to go, I would say I would like to go f first, probably just to set up a little bit of a board. But m most time probably end up going second. So we'll just see how it goes when I decide that, that test place a couple more times. So you activate more Megaroid City, right? So you'll go straight into your Megaroid City, bam. So after that, you know, you you would activate Mega, you would summon this activate Megaroid City's effect to pop a card on the car field 
to add a roid card to your hand. So from there, you would add a roid card into your hand. I would say this one. But then you have this effect right here, which also summons a another that summons the gold gadget. So when gold gadget is summoned, of course you can special summon a level four lower machine monster. So we have again right there, boom. So from those two cards, we created that. And then you can activate, you know, your machine roids effect to fusion summon if you want, or you can exceed, you can easily go into Baguska just to stall out for your first play. For your first play, you can go into Baguska right away and just stall out. If you wanted to, you can use all those and let's say you went second, you wanna attack a bunch of monsters. So you go into this big board right here. But there you can banish all these using this effect. Banish all these and activate some of this guy. So 4,000 attack, 4,000 defense, not bad, not bad. Uh, And there you go again you can just at the end of the turn he is destroyed though through the effect so use it while you got it that's one of the car combos the two car combos i was talking about you know just with that i mean you got a lot a lot of plays with these cards right here this is just uh you know i built this deck just to be really casual very fun i really wanted to have fun i really liked the way it looked oh that's why i really built it is just the way it looked but another good play would be to you, know, you can get out Mixeroid, Machine Duplication, go straight into it and get into your, you got right on right there. Summon out all three. And you can still activate that effect again and you can just go into, once again, So it's a pretty quick deck, guys. I really like it. I just gotta, I'm gonna keep working on it right here. This is gonna be the first tournament we play with it. It's a very fun deck, very funly base kit. No ass blossom, no, no, no interruptions really. Just for you to try to get off the board what you have or something and then try to survive it so you can complete, complete your place. So this, this deck seems like it would be a lot of fun. I'm really excited to play in the tournament. We have a lot of other stuff coming. I have a Cyber Dragon deck that's almost complete that we're about to bring in. And then we also have the Amazonas coming to, coming as well. So I'm gonna do one test hand for you. All right, let's do a full, we'll do a full cut too. The combos with these are outrageous too. I mean, like, even there's a the combo where you put the Megaroid City on the field and you just keep switching your attack of your, of your Truckroid, equipping monsters to it, making it just a monster if you want. 22 attack is not that bad, guys. I mean, you know, it's a good thing to have. Let's see what we got right here. We got Mixer Roy Limited Removal. But we got it instant. Okay. So that, that could be deadly right there. Let's just see what we have in our extra deck. And how strong is this guy? Five, and then we have nine. So we can go into this. What I would do is instant. So at your guy right here. Get your normal one. Okay. Fusion by paying half your life points. Go into this big boy. After that, I would. It says right here, once you turn, you can target one face a monster You're on the field. Equip that card to this. Equip that card to this one. While I'll the monster, you can take all monsters your opponent controls once each. It's card attacks, original has half. And so. So. I will go ahead and. Activate Living Removal. 
activate this. Go ahead and draw another card. Get it in there. Just uh, from there, you know, attack every single monster real quick. Hopefully, that was enough because at the end of the turn, this will be destroyed. So it's just a. It's a like I said, it's, it's like a Joey deck to me. You know, you're you're really hoping that you get the best hand and go from there. And it has a lot of stall out plays too that I'm I'm putting in just to make you your opponent stall out a little bit so we can get some time to activate our plays. But guys, I hope you enjoyed this one. This is a, like I said, I really, I was really excited to do a new, another video on this new play mat. Super happy with the way it came out. I got it on Amazon. Uh, next time, probably the next video, I'll have the link in the description for this stuff. So, you know, we might be making them. Let me know if you want these mats. If you would like to be purchasing someone, I could probably get you one, you know? So just let me know guys. And, uh, like and subscribe, guys, into the the giveaway. The giveaway is still going on. You know, we need we need some people to take these decks off our hand with this deck off our hand. It is the super heavy samurai, and if the if we if we're giving it away and we get the attorney code before then, we will be entering putting in the new super heavy samurai support coming in that. So I really hope y'all excited. We're really excited to see that. So as well as I'll be giving you some extra super heavy samurai cards just to change the deck up if you want to. So. Here you go, guys. So next time, see you next time. Next time will be the Cyber Dragons, I believe, and I, that's my my deck too. So I'm really excited to bring it to y'all.